Hello everyone, welcome to Science Time Science. I'm Prasanna Deshmukh and today we are going to talk a very interesting topic which is a bit urgent called as Mars Moon Venus conjunction. It is going to be tomorrow and after tomorrow on 12th and 13th July 2021 and will be visible through the naked eye. So let's get started. So basically a conjunction is an event when two astronomical bodies come very close to each other doesn't overlap but come close to each other if they overlap it is called as occultation whereas if they come very close it is a conjunction and this conjunction can happen between objects within our solar system such as two planets or moon and planet or some of the solar system object and other objects like stars or galaxies now the upcoming conjunction is between two planets it is between moon and planet and it is also between planet and star so let us see what are those so on 12th of july we are going to see venus going to come very close to moon and i'll show you details about how close and that is going to be venus moon conjunction going to be visible in the evening sky on 13th of july mars and venus is going to come closer so that is going to be two planets conjuncting each other and followed by that on 21st of July Venus and Regulus star are going to conjunct as well as on 29th of July Mars and Regulus star again going to conjunct so it's going to be a fantastic month in which we are going to see so many conjunctions one of the interesting thing about this is anyone can enjoy by just naked eyes because these are events which can be seen and enjoyed with the naked eyes Having telescope or binocular is just going to add to the excitement. So why do this conjunction happen? Here is one example geometrical representation of why conjunction happens. Suppose this is Earth, this is a Sun and this is a planet, interior planet, maybe Mercury or Venus. And as you can see, as Venus is passing by its orbit, as seen from the Earth, we may be able to see it is passing very close to Sun. But of course, conjunction with the Sun is a bit hard to see. Whereas if this happens with some other objects in the solar system for example when we are here and we are seeing the Venus if Mars is somewhere in this region we will be able to see conjunction and similar thing is possible with the other planets like Jupiter Saturn and so on whereas if this view is also coming and overlapping with some stars in the outer solar system then we will be able to see a conjunction so conjunction happens when two objects appear to come closer now in reality in space they are not very close to each other but they just appear to be closer same thing ha happens in the occultation when two objects overlap with each other suppose we have moon going around the earth and when moon is passing by this region if it comes and overlaps with venus or if it overlaps with uh, mars orbit at that time we will be able to see both of them occulting and that is called as occultation so this is the view of 12th and 13th of july 2021 what we are going to see is mars venus and moon are going to come close to each other as seen from earth now this event is going to be on 12th and 13th of july 2021 it will be visible in the western direction as seen from your locality now western direction is nothing but where sun is setting and it will be roughly 18 degree above the horizon so how to find such a heights uh, i'll show in the coming slides now in order to see this event you had to go out in the evenings around 7 to 8 pm and you had to look in the western direction and you had to look for around 18 degree above the horizon now how to find 18 degree your one finger is of the order of one degree you are these three fingers are of the order of five degree if you close your feet it will be like this it is 10 degree this posture is going to give you 15 degree from this point to this point and this is around 25 degree so you have to use this and roughly few degrees above these two points is the 18 degree or so now this is valid when you're holding your hand uh, stretched in the sky so if you hold your hand like this and these two points are going to be 15 degree apart and as projected in the sky so 
This is a simple technique you can use to find roughly 18 degree and of course these objects are going to be bright so when you see in the evening sky in the western direction you will be able to see them very easily and they will be quite closer and quite fascinating as well. So as I said on 12th July 7 p.m. in the western direction at around 18 degree from horizon this is the view which you will see you will have moon a very small phase of the moon will be visible you have Venus and Mars and this is particularly conjunction of Venus and moon and yes these objects are going to be four degree apart so which is like this distance apart when you are holding your hand stretched in the sky so next one is on 13th July which is the most important event of the sequence which is Venus and Mars conjunction and it will be in the western direction roughly 19 degrees so slightly above the previous day's event and they will be closer to each other quite closer to each other less than one finger's width so that is going to be exciting they will be very close and if you observe carefully you will be able to see both of them will be a very fascinating view through the binoculars as well after a few days on 21st of july 7 pm in the western direction around 20 degree above the horizon you are going to see regulus which is a star and venus going to come close to each other and they will be roughly 1.5 degree apart so on 29th and july at 7 pm western direction at around 12 degrees you're going to see regulus and mars coming closer so you have four conjunctions waiting ahead of you starting from tomorrow and this particular regulus and mars are going to be 0.5 degree closer once again now this particular chart gives some idea about how often these events happen and this is only for planets within our solar system and as you can see greener indicates very often events and red indicates quite rare events because they occur at a very large duration for example this chart can be used for finding out how often you can see a conjunction of say mars and venus which is going to happen in two days it is going to be roughly 2.13 uh, years uh, if you want to see when a uh, jupiter and saturn is going to conjunct it is roughly 20 years duration and so on and so forth so a uh, conjunction of planets which are interior and closer to earth we can see them very often as the objects are away from earth uh, this conjunction is seen quite rarely as I said in the beginning that apart from conjunction there is also an event called as occultation in conjunction you see two objects coming very close to each other whereas in occultation they will overlap with each other uh, this particular occultation is very useful scientific method for finding shapes of the objects in the sky I'll not go into details of that and this is one of the example when uh, we were able to see occultation of moon and Mars a few weeks back and this was a view from Bangalore of course it was cloudy but you can see here is the Mars and this is the moon and Mars passed through this path okay so occultation is also an exciting event and you're going to see what is called as conjunction in few days so as I said you don't need any special equipment to see this event if you have clear skies you are very good to see this event whereas if you have telescopes or binoculars they are just going to enhance the view so if you want to learn more about these events you can go to this references as well as stay tuned to this channel we will be coming with similar videos as well as I'll post some images if I'm able to observe from here in Bangalore and consider to subscribe to this channel we make similar videos I'll see you in the next video